37. I'll call a meeting to order. Chair statement is this meeting is not recorded by the city. If any persons present are doing the same, they must know the, notify the chairperson at this time. Anybody else reporting the meeting besides us? Very much. Roll call of members. David Singer. Present. Butch Hawkins, present. Mayor. Here. Thank you, Chief. Here. Present. Stella Chan, finance director. Yep. Present. Yep. Thank you. Carol Collins. Not there. Uh, David Mascaritello. Steve Draculich. Here. Thanks, Steve. Gene Wall. Amy McMahon. Ken Stromston. And Jim Wynn. Here. Is okay, also okay. present is Neil Joyce, the OPM. Katrina. Yes. Sir. yes. Um, H2M. Dennis Ross. Yes. Hey, Dennis. Hey, how you doing, bud? Uh, Peter MacGyver. Present. Uh, Marlo Warner. Fernando Fury. Greg Diefendorf. Present. Present. Gene Wallace. Gene, yes. present. Here. Thank you. Hi, Gene. Hi, Gene. Okay, the first order of business is prior meeting minutes for May 9th. Peter sent all of them out, and I think I duplicated sending them out also. But he's had a chance to read them. I'll entertain a motion to approve them. So moved. Second. So second. 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 Any further discussion on the minutes? Okay, all those in favor say aye. David Singer? Aye. Butch, yes. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Uh, Stella? Yes. Oh, you, weren't you weren't present, don't believe. Uh, <laughs> Steve? Yes. Gene? Yes. And Jim? I don't believe I was present. Okay. Okay. Motion passed. Okay, the minutes for June. Make a motion to accept this. What Second. Second. Seconded by who's that, Singer. David? Singer. Okay, is there any further discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, David, how do you vote? Yes. Yes, I vote yes. In favor. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Um, Steve? Yes. Jean? Yes. And Jim? Yes. Thank you very much. That's it for the minutes. Okay, the next item is the budget update, payment invoices, and current budget status. Neil Joyce. Butch, did you, did you want me to share my screen? Yeah, that would be good. Could you enable me to do so? Um, uh, probably has to be City Hall. It's going to be City Hall because they started the meeting. Um, Could you help us so familiar to share your screen? And I'm going to watch how you do this. One second. Yeah. Can Janine? I'm going to hit the button. We're going to try to do it. Oh, okay. What's this? Go to Google. Screen. Security. Share screen. Okay. Okay. You should be able to share your screen now. We just had to hit a setting that allows participants to share a screen. So right. give it a try. Which one do you want to do invoices first? Neil, yeah, hold on yeah, a second. Sorry. Can you give us control of the meeting for? conference room? <laughs> Can we take control of the meeting over here? Let's see. Please. Yeah. Should be all set now. Thank you. No yeah. problem, Chief.
So okay. these are current invoices. Neil will explain them. Yep. So um, produced uh, quite a few invoices this month. Uh, application 21 for DA Sullivan, which was uh, work completed in June and July from our last um, earlier meeting, uh, $535,404.77. Uh, CMS, $10,250. That's the first half of our closeout services invoicing. Um, box modular, uh, two invoices, one for the last month rent and one uh, 44,000 and change was the uh, removal cost of the um, office trailers. So 51, 53,000, excuse me, $191 and 86 cents. Similarly, the last two invoices for New England builders and contractors, the 25 or 24,945 was the last month's rent and the $66,000 and 50 cents was the removal cost for the apparatus bays. Uh, Pachico Ross, two invoices for ongoing architectural services, totaling $22,056.88. $3,760 for Colliers for commissioning services, and $38,150.74 to US Digital for the startup and integration of the station alerting system. Total invoices uh, presented $753,759.75. Happy to take any question regarding those invoices. Make a motion to accept. Is there a second? Second. Okay, um, any questions for Neil on that? I have a question, please. Go ahead, David. Neil, on the New England builders and contractors, the sixty-six thousand. What can you give me? Can you give us a little better idea what specifically that went to? Shouldn't they have uh, taken all that stuff down at their expense? It was part of the original contract price, David. So this is not this is not a change order. This was this was the uh, scheduled value that they had in their contract to remove the structures. Okay. So we paid, they told us what we would pay them at a fixed price to take them down. That's correct. At the termination of the lease. Sim similar for box modular. The 44,000 and change. The general lease. Okay, thank you. Chief, question? No, I was just gonna put that as a clarification. So. Oh, okay. Any other questions for Neil on any pieces of the uh, invoices? And Payment request. Good. Okay. Motions had seconded. All those in favor? David Singer? Uh, aye. I vote yes. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Steve? Steve? Sorry, I couldn't unmute. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, G. Yes. And Jim. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. The budget, Neil. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so budgeted cost to date, total project expenses are currently um, just over twenty million four hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars. Um, we are showing roughly $1.2 million in expenses remaining. The largest portion of those funds are the retainage that will be paid to the contractor upon resolution of outstanding punch list items and completion of contract work. We have included in the contractor's um, amount owed the final change order, which will be presented to the committee um, this afternoon. Um, I have tied out uh, and sort of reconciled um, CMS's account with the city, as well as Chico Ross and uh, DA Sullivan. So those numbers are all solid. 
Um, we are, as, you, as the committee is aware or should be aware, we are on a time and materials basis with um, H2M at this point uh, for extended services. So they will bill us for the costs that are incurred. And as of right now, um, we are current with all bills that have been presented. Uh, similar for CMS, we are uh, finishing our closeout services and um, we're square commissioning services. This $27,000 will be paid to the commissioning agent upon completion of their operations. Again, the 558061 is a combination of uh, completion uh, funds as well as retainage to DA Sullivan. Uh, this $49,000 is sort of a placeholder right now for remaining work under several miscellaneous categories um, within the budget. We're sort of holding that in abeyance um, until we get everything squared away. Uh, furniture, fixtures, and equipment is about $180,000 left in the budget for um, expenditure. Some of that is committed. Some of it is not. So we'll continue to track that as we move through the final pieces of furniture and equipment that are being ordered for the station. As an example, uh, the city just executed the purchase order for the security cameras uh, to the tune of about $50,000. So that's a, a fairly significant expense, although a fixed cost that has not yet been accounted for. And then lastly, the, um, the temporary fire station and the site acquisition uh, costs. Now that the all of the rent has been paid, the removal has been paid, there are some miscellaneous invoices that are coming in, as well as reconciling the costs that have been paid uh, for the temporary station throughout its life, if you will. Um, and we're expecting that, that those costs will total to the $3.6 million that we had budgeted. So I just, I have a little bit more work to reconcile the remaining costs and make sure that everything has been accounted for. And when all of that is summed up, it leaves us with about $100,000 in contingency within the project uh, at this point in time. So again, very positive. Um, again, yeah. at this point in time, I'm, I'm very comfortable with where we are in terms of funding to complete and uh, making sure that everything will move forward and close out this fall as anticipated. So I'm happy to take any questions people have on the budget. Make a motion to accept the budget. Second. Second. Uh, any, anyone with any questions for Neil on the budget? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Stella. Well, mine is more to, oh, you have that number. Yeah. So um, I apologize for being new and um, uh, the only information I had before Angelica uh, moved on, she did share with uh, Neil something she said she stayed uh, in touch with you on a more summarized look at the budget. And so I was just uh, wanted to know um, the what I'm looking at was kept on Angelica's side. I see the total budget of 21693000 But then there was this other capital um, of 550000 It was really just hitting three different line items. And I was wondering, what is that, that other capital? And then it reduces, the, it's in the total, part of the total budget, but then it's sort of pulled out of the total budget to come up with something called the FIRE capital budget, uh, which is 550000 less. So I was wondering, could you just explain the difference there? Or what was the intent of these separate columns? So I, I believe that the original appropriation for um, design and construction cost was done at the city level at a cost of five, at, at an estimated cost of $550,000. Oh, I got you. That was the original appropriation. From, oh. from there, the total project budget was set at just short of 21.7 million. So I oh. think the difference after a whole lot of wrangling that frankly, I won't put everybody through reliving that, um, we set the project budget at 21.7 or just shy of that. Yeah. Level, and that was a separate appropriation made for those funds. 
Okay, so your 21693 that you show on your screen now does not include the separate appropriation of the 550? No, it's all inclusive. Oh, it is in there. Okay. Yes. Uh, I got you. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for Neil on the budget? I have two. Go ahead. Okay. Um, thank you, Neil. So I have a question on the um, furnishings and equipment. I yes. do remember just signing that PO for the uh, for the cameras. Yep. And um, the we were talking about a, a a light on the street. Was that one of the other committed things? Um, that isn't that has not been voted on by the committee mayor. So no, it is not. Was there uh, okay? I was just curious. Was there any talk about that, or is that for, or should I have brought that up a different time? I believe that request is going to be made today by the chief. Okay. All right. To commit then, those funds. All right. Very good. Um, and then my last question is on the temporary fire station. Um, the what remains there? It looks like is three hundred and thirty thousand dollars. That's what I'm seeing was the balance. Is there anything else that needs to be done um, to Hope Street for the actual, so that it is left? So oh, Mayor, I'm, in, I'm actually in the process of reconciling. Okay, very good, sorry. For the, 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 uh, the expenditures for the temporary mm -hmm. station. And okay. I, am, I am projecting that that $330,000 has likely already been spent Okay. I just need to go through the detail and make sure that my figures tie out to the city's accounting figures. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Any other questions for Neil on the budget? Hearing none. All those in favor of approving the budget is presented. David Singer. David? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Butch, yes. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Steve? Yes. Jean? Yes. And Jim Wynn? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, the next item is the H2M and OPM recommends the committee approve $37,500, of which we want to add another $5,000 to that for forty two. Thousand five hundred to take care of the neighbor's uh, parking lot uh, repaving thing. Um, I'll turn it over to either Neil or Katrina. Do you want a motion first? Yes. Um, with a little explanation, but uh, yeah, could I have a motion to accept $42,500? So moved. Second. Second. Um, as you, as you know, we meet every Monday, um, uh, or probably the last 75 Mondays. And during those meetings, we go over, um, the two week look ahead. We go over, uh, budgeting items and we go over issues, uh, related to work that's being done and work that, um, me from the city side, Neil Joyce is the OPM representing as the city clerk, uh, and DA Sullivan and H2M presenting different projects and work amounts and dollar amounts. And some of them we've already bought at. And um, I have, I have said to them that that wouldn't, wouldn't stand for a committee vote. And Neil has uh, sort of said, you know, you need to send this, some of these things back for, a revisit for um, the pricing that the contractors were pricing. And most of that ended up last Monday at about $65,000 worth of work. And so with DA Sullivan in the room and Neil uh, working with the chief, they boiled it down to 37,500 and they would take care of all these issues. The additional 5,000 arose pretty much it's been over a period of time, but it kind of uh, finished presenting itself today for 
helping uh, the neighbor out with some paving for $5,000. But I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on that and have Neil kind of explain now what DA Sullivan has sort of agreed that they're going to do for us and kind of close this out, which I thought was a was a pretty large step up from them. They could have they could have pushed us back a little bit, but they didn't. Neil, thanks, Butch. Um, yeah, so there was a collection of change orders that have been presented. Some of which have been kicking around since the beginning of the job. Others, which uh, have only been risen uh, lately. Um, at the end of the day, we made a judgment call as to which PCOs we felt had merit and would be supported by the committee. And we also um, gave DA Sullivan our final feedback on change orders that we felt would not be supported by the community and would not be eligible for reimbursement under the terms of the contract. And at, at the risk of uh, being cavalier, we arrived at a value of $37,500 for roughly 12 change orders, some of which had no merit, some of which had some merit, some of which we encouraged them to resubmit at a reduced value, and some of which were acceptable as presented. So I believe you were provided a list of all of the changes that were inclusive. As of now, we have no outstanding items that require resolution with DA Sullivan. And with the addition of the contribution from the city to the uh, abutters pavement issue, um, the total request from the committee today is $42,500. And that, that um, the 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 addition of the five thousand dollars was a late add today, but the thirty seven thousand five hundred would be presented as change order eighteen and was contemplated in the budget that you had seen today. So the reduction in contingency would only be the additional five thousand dollars at this point in time. So I'm happy to take any questions the committee has. Any questions for Neil? Go ahead, David. Um, so Neil, you're saying that this, the 40, the 37,000 has already been taken care of in the budget you submitted to us. That is correct. Okay. That's good. Secondly, it sounds like you Butch and the chief feel really comfortable that the final arrangement that you made with them is in the best interest of the city. Yes. Okay. And Katrina, do, were you part of that negotiation also? Yes. Do you was. feel the same way? Yes. Thank you. Any other questions for Neil or Katrina on how we arrived at this point? Seeing none, all those in favor? Do we have a motion? Yeah, yeah. it's already made. It. Yeah, we had the motion, we had a second. All right. Yeah. All those in favor, David? Yes. Butch, yes. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Steve? Yes. Jean? Yes. And Jim? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, the next item we've been talking about for quite a while, which is the traffic alerting signal devices for the area near the Ford dealer and East Main Street because of the curvature in Main Street for the... Uh, a signaling device to operate the uh, traffic lights. And I'll turn that over to, initially when we were talking, we were estimating it at $35,000. And Peter MacGyver did an exceptional amount of work to kind of come up with a figure of $17,350 for the work. Um, but I'd like the chief to speak to this item, if you would. Sure. Uh, so we talked about uh, this item right along as, as we started from day one, we did uh, the groundbreaking here at the firehouse. And we had a uh, traffic study that the committee authorized and paid four months ago, uh, where it identified that there is no need for a traffic light. However, 
uh, there could be the possibility for what they refer to as a hybrid light. That's their wording, not mine in the traffic study. And basically a hybrid light is, is a sign, uh, like you see fire truck sign with a sign above it that says fire truck entering when flashing and has little yellow oh. lights that flash when the fire trucks uh, enter Main Street. Uh, after being in here, uh, we the getting on to Main Street is, has not been a problem, but we have noticed that it would be nice just to uh, slow people down coming up the hill and just give them a little bit of forewarning that, you know, a fire truck may be exiting onto Main Street. So uh, that's part of the quote. The other part of the quote, uh, which we've known right along, uh, is that the preemption, and that is the uh, system that controls the Main Street and Federal Street lights to turn everything red except the way that we're going, uh, needed to be relocated with a with a remote uh, head further on Main Street because as you go out Main Street and you head eastbound, before you get to the lights, you have to make a little bit of a curve by the old uh, Clark building uh, and that we weren't triggering the lights soon enough to have it so we have safe passage through that light. So this will give us a remote head that will give us more access uh, for it to be triggered further down Main Street, therefore clearing the light before we get to it. Uh, Peter did a remarkable job of uh, finding out uh, solutions, cost-effective solutions for it. Um, that in the scope of things, it's not a traffic control device here at the firehouse. It's just letting people know that fire trucks are coming. So. I uh, hope the committee will support uh, the purchase of this. Uh, and again, great job, Peter, for keeping the cost down. Is there a motion to accept this? Can we make a motion we accept this? Second. So moved, Singer. Okay, any questions for the chief on this? Go ahead, David. Uh, all I want to do is say thank you, especially to Peter, for your good work on this. This is this is a really important thing. And the fact really that you is. It, uh less expensive is a very greenfield thing to do. So thank you very much. Thank you. If, if I could follow up with this, uh, so there's been some you know, discussion about uh, access out of Main Street, and I will tell you, and I will go on record, that working out of 412 Main Street and pulling out of that firehouse, I don't know, probably a thousand plus times, uh, it is much easier for us to get on the Main Street at this location. Uh, and so by no means um, is this light a reflection on uh, the difficulty getting onto Main Street. It is not. It's just an added level of uh, uh, safety for the firefighters exiting on Main Street. Right. And that's a blind spot with people flying up the hill here. They come around the corner and bang, there's a fire truck, you know, exiting or entering. So it's a, it's a real safety issue, I think, in need of... Any other questions for the chief? Just one more question, sorry. Yeah. Uh, where will the sign up the hill go? We're still working on a location. We need to work with uh, with our local DPW and, and uh, possibly DOT just to okay the location of it. So we don't have an exact location yet. Okay, thank you. Right now we're looking at utilizing the existing light pole. So it wouldn't be added hardware out to the street edge. Oh, good. Anyone else with a question? Yay. How do you vote to approve $17,300 for traffic alerting? David Singer? Yes. Butch, yes. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Steve? Yes. Gene? Yes. And Jim? Yes. And Jim Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Before I go to the last meeting, I just want to take this moment because this might be our our last major meeting. We'll have we'll have to have a couple of more probably eventually here, but when commissioning is done and it'll go until next spring sometime. But the bulk of the work is pretty much done. Uh, like Neil said, there shouldn't really be any more uh, change orders. There's some commissioning stuff. There's some punch lift stuff we got to do. There's a couple other things here we have to look into, but pretty much the bulk of the project is now behind us. And I just want to take a moment to thank the committee members for their four plus years of 
commitment uh, to this project and um, sticking with it. It's been long. <laughs> it's sometimes been arduous. It's been difficult. Uh, it's been challenging. And I really appreciate everybody's time and effort on this project at the building committee level. Uh, the professionals, that's a different story, but committee members, I think, because you're volunteers, we're all volunteers, and just stick with it. I just want to thank you very much. I put down the next meeting just to fill the space for September 25th. We won't have a meeting at that time. It probably won't be until sometime in maybe late October when they can get the uh, chiller running and the, and the commissioning agent can run through some of the stuff that's more for cold weather. Um, and we'll, we'll probably meet them. So I wouldn't plan on meeting in September. It will be later than that. Neil, you, know, you might weigh in on the process coming forward um, and finishing this up. And maybe when we can decommission ourselves as a commission as a thought in the future. Sure. So at, um, at this point in the project, uh, everyone on the committee, I think, can breathe a sigh of relief. Most of the heavy lifting is done. There's some cleaning up, some detail work. Um, in terms of the budget and just, um, you know, the final expenditures that go into it. Um, we always make the recommendation that the committee delegate responsibility for approval of the final project costs. And, and those are really just mopping up the excessive detail um, of the project to a subcommittee um, at the city's discretion the committee could take a vote to make that delegation this evening or could be done in October when we meet after the commissioning efforts are completed for the initial startup of the chiller. Um, that purely is a city decision. We can continue to meet or continue to convene a full committee um, into the spring, uh, although our meetings would be really few and far between until um, we would do a final meeting, final cost, and and disband the committee. Yeah, so I could put that on the agenda for, you know, theoretically that October meeting for um, the committee to decide if they want to just download it to a, which we already have for $25,000 or under. We already have a, um, a the group, which includes myself, David Singer, the chief, the mayor, and the finance director um, for mop up. But I'll put it on the agenda for when we meet again and we'll discuss it. Yep. Are there not any last, questions for Neil on the process? I was going to say last recommendation, Butch, is I, I, it's very common that as uh, departments and uh, municipalities learn and grow in their facility during the first year, that there may be some things that don't quite work out the way that they anticipated. So we do like to recommend that any return of unspent contingency is delayed until, uh, you know, the, the department has gone through all four seasons within the building and fully recognizes how the building will operate moving forward. Um, and then obviously any expenditure of remaining contingency would come back before the selected group or the full committee at the um, city's discretion. That makes sense. Okay. Any questions on Neil on that? Okay. Yay. Motion to adjourn. I have one last one. Yeah. So I just wanted to enter in. So, uh, and for the record, uh, just an update of where we are with our permanent seat uh, certificate um, occupancy. Uh, just to update everybody, uh, I spoke with the building official today. Uh, we are still operating under a temporary occupancy permit only because of the chiller uh, has not been commissioned. Uh, the chiller needs to be commissioned under heating light -like conditions. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's a heater, it's not a chiller. So uh, we need to wait till it gets a little cold before they can do the, the commissioning on that. So the balancing is correct. That is the only item that Mark Snow is aware of that is outstanding, preventing a permanent seal. So I just wanted to put that on record and, and just put it out there so everybody knows where we are for the seal. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah.
Motion to adjourn. Uh, anything up? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, David? Yes. Butch, yes. Mayor? Yes. Chief? Yes. Steve? Yes. Gene? Yes. And Jen? Yes. Thank you very much, everybody. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.